The fifth secret or strategy is to occupy the fallen important squares whenever possible. As we discussed before in the first video, it's very important to occupy the center squares, um, especially your sweet spot on the left-hand side, and then also his sweet spot on the right-hand side. There's also your Achilles heel on the right-hand side, and then his Achilles heel on the left-hand side. And of course, always try to keep your anchor checkers in place. The anchor checker on the left, and then the anchor checker on the right. And in the end game, if most of his checkers are on the left-hand side, it's very important to keep that anchor checker on the left in place and then, conversely, if most of his checkers are on the right-hand side, it's very important to keep the right-hand checker in place. So now this is a game between Papa Watt and myself, um, where he had his um, most of his checkers on the left-hand side, and I kept my left-hand anchor checker in place and eventually won the game. And this is how I did it. So he started out with um, the Old Faithful, and I responded with Old Faithful back again. So, um, evening. He's the champion of Texas. So, of, of course, we exchanged there. And, uh, okay. Nice Texas uh, greeting, howdy. <laughs> so let me really concentrate this time. See if I can beat him this time. Okay. So if he moves towards my um, Achilles heel on the right-hand side, obviously, um, I'm going to play a little differently at the moment. I'm just going to develop my single corner. And um, he's blocking me from getting to my sweet spot. So I'm just going to get to the, as far into the um, center as possible, because if you do that, then if he exchanges hair, it's actually going to pull one of his back checkers away. So I don't want him to pin this checker, so I'm moving it away. <coughs> okay. Now, I can't move here because he's going to get a tree shot. Can you see that? So, what I'm going to do instead is to move this checker here. Okay, so that avoids him and getting a tree shot. I've got an elbow here. Can you see that? But I can always protect it by moving this checker up here and still keep my two anchor checkers in place. So let's see what he does. Okay, so he's moved um, out from his um, back squares. So that's good. All right. So let me see what I can do. Okay, so now my best move would be to be here to protect that elbow there. And from him, um, obviously, getting that two shot and pulling my checker away from my back line because he was setting me up for that by playing here. If I didn't move that checker there, okay. Okay, all right. So my next move would be here to try to um, attack get to my sweet spots. So I'm going to move here. And then if he exchanges here, um, I can try to squeeze this checker into um, one of the, the, the doghouse on the left-hand side. So let's see what he does. Okay, so he's exchanging. 
right? He's got this elbow here. Um, so what I'm going to do is to move this checker up, develop my single cone, it's safe to do so. So you could possibly exchange here. Let's see if he does that because, let me see, he can't play here because when we exchange, I would um, destroy his back line, back um, checkers, his, um, open up his back line. Okay, so he's exchanging here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to exchange here. Because he can't get a three shot, even if um, this is safe, he can't get a two shot if I exchange here. And that's really going to compromise him, actually. And it's going to put pressure on um, this, these two checkers here. So, well, okay. He can't get a three shot because if he um, pitches this checker, I'll take this way. I don't have to take that way because that will give him a three shot. Right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what he does. He can exchange here if he wanted to. No, he doesn't exchange there. Okay, so my best move now would be, I don't want him to squeeze this checker here. So I'm just gonna go here because if I can back up this checker here, I can exchange and then go and get a king. Can you see that? All right. So I definitely don't want him to squeeze this checker here with that. But if he moves there, I can then squeeze this checker. So I should just move this checker up here so that um, he can't um, squeeze this checker, prevent him from doing that. Okay. All right, so, okay, you can't play there because I'll just go and get a king. You can't play there, I'll just go and get a king. So I'm just going to move up this checkup. Let's see, he's got one, two, three, four checkers. You got one, two, three, five checkers on the, on the left-hand side. So that's why it's very important now to keep this checker in, in its place. Okay, so most of the checkers are on the left-hand side, and that's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay so one, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. He's got three checkers on the right-hand side. So I'm covering those checkers quite well. All right. So I could actually play here and then here, and then he would lose. Okay, but let me just exchange. So now he can't stop me from getting a king. So more or less, more than likely he's lost. Well, I'm just going to exchange here because this checker is faced off, this checker is faced off. And now what he's going to try to do is to get in between this checker here yeah, I'm just going to get um, squeeze this check, and if I move it up, then he's going to get an, a checker by forming a bridge here. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm just going to exchange because those this checker is faced off. Okay, so now he's got one, two, three, he's got five checkers on the left-hand side and my anchor check on the left-hand side is still in place now. So I have a very good chance of winning.
But of course, um, he's going to try all the tricks possible now. So his only move now is to exchange or to try to squeeze this checker. Now, I can't move this checker up um, out of the way because he's just going to form a bridge and squeeze this checker. So I have to exchange. Okay. So he's going to try to squeeze this checker now. And I want to keep this check in place, but let me just try and come and chase after this checker. So now because he's done that, the only way that he can get a king is to go into the um, Roach Motel. Here. So, okay, so I've stopped this one from moving, and then I'm going to bring my king down and block this checker from coming out of the Roach Motel. Right. So he's got four checkers all lined up on the on the left hand side, and I've got my anchor check on the left hand side. So that is why it's so important in the end game to keep this checker in place. All right. So let's try to get another king. So I've got a possibility of getting three kings. Okay. See what it does. Okay, well, I can't move my checker here. He's trying to trick me, of course. If I move my king here, he's just going to exchange and it's going to be a draw. Okay, so I'm just going to get a king. Because if, if he now pulls his check all the way here, we just exchange and I get um, two checkers instead of one. All right, that's just a little trick here. I'm going to try because if he moves this checker here, I'm going to um, move my king here and form a scissors. All right. So I'm going to form a scissors, get this checker, and the only way he's going to get his checker back is to take. Oh, he's lost now. So now I'm just going to um, um, face off the king with a little checker. <laughs> Lowly checker. Okay, he's lost. Okay, so now I just there's three now against the king and the anchor check on the left hand side. So he's lost. Okay, good game. Gotta go. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh well, he's given up. And that's how to win against a champion. Hello everyone. I just wanted to thank you for watching our videos and subscribing. I am really enjoying making these videos and hope they are helping you improve your game. Checkers is such an easy game to learn to play, but like chess, it's very difficult to master. I've played over 30,000 games now online, and, but I still make silly mistakes, either because I get distracted or I um, lose concentration, because I play several hours a day, and also I'm actually over 73 years of age. Um, but I like playing because obviously it keeps my mind very active. We have organized our videos um, so that um, if you're a beginner, you can watch the beginning series. If you're an intermediate player, you can watch some intermediate videos. And also, um, there are now going to be some videos for more advanced players, all the way up to expert or master level. If you have any requests or suggestions, please let us know. My email address is patcws. 2001 at yahoo.com. I will be also happy to play anyone online and through the um, app, app um, called Hackstrom um, Online Checkers 
play with friends upon request and I will record the game with live commentary on how I win, lose or draw. And with your and with your permission I will publish it. So thank you once more and have a great day. Bye.